Things are changing so quickly, Alex, that literally within a matter of weeks, things changed here in Phoenix. How that's translated into what I'm doing in my business. Listen, people are always going to need somewhere to live. Not only that, but there is an undersupply of well-finished starter homes. You're listening to Flip Empire, the show committed to helping real estate entrepreneurs who want to build their empire without sacrificing their life. Your success and freedom starts now with your host, Alex Pardo. How are you thinking about your fix and flip business and positioning it, considering we're in an environment where interest rates are rising? Uh, Inflation is significantly higher than what the news would like us all to think. Uh, And then some people think we're in a recession. Others think we're heading into a recession. Either way, uh, there's change happening. Right. Right. This is the benefit of having a network like ours and also yeah. being connected and interconnected with your lenders. When I was raising private money, instead of a 10 or 15 minute conversation lately, it's kind of graduated into maybe like a 45 minute conversation of like, what are you seeing? You know, what's going on? What are you seeing with those projects? What yeah. are you seeing on those deals? And that helps because things are changing so quickly, Alex, that literally within a matter of weeks, things changed here in Phoenix. How that's translated into what I'm doing in my business. Listen, people are always is going to need somewhere to live, not only that, but there is an undersupply of well-finished starter homes. Mm. Let me qualify that a little bit more. So people that have been beat up so much in the market are finally, 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 it's sort of a gruesome analogy, but like they have the gun in their hands and they're like able to control a little bit more of what's happening right now. So even though Phoenix is technically still in a seller's market, the majority of our cities are like very quickly leaning towards a balanced market, maybe a buyer's market by end of year, early next year. Don't quote me on that. But what I'm seeing is that a project that maybe people would have been falling all over themselves a few months ago, they're now nitpicking it. Mm -hmm. And, you know, they're asking for concessions. They're asking for maybe a rate buy down in the form of concessions. So that has become normal quickly. So as a fix and flipper, I have normally always stayed in starter homes and move up homes. I don't see especially the starter home space changing that much. And especially for younger folks that are trying to get their first house they might not have all the money or the wherewithal or the desire to buy a fixer upper. So if you as a rehabber can stay in that price point and deliver a nicely packaged move-in ready starter home, I think that you will have multiple exit strategies regardless of where interest rates go. Because you can sell to other investors that are just looking for some sort of yield, right? And they're projecting 10, 15 years out. They're not trying to make a profit like I am as a rehabber. You can sell to first-time home buyers. You can sell to hedge funds if those are in your market. So what I'm doing to change not so much my buy box is I don't want to take on any major reconstruction right now. I don't want to take on huge rehabs that are going to put me four or five, six months down the line, especially as you know, you've seen what's going on in the supply chain. Mm -hmm. Interest rates are probably going to go up. You know, the CPI is coming out tomorrow. So everything is kind of pointing to like, in all probability, we're going to continue to see interest rate hikes and inflation stay. All right, my friend, I hope you enjoyed that Flip Empire episode and got a lot of value out of it. Make sure to check the show notes page for any resources that were mentioned. And speaking of resources, honestly, I don't think I've done the best job of sharing with you my top curated, highly recommended tools and resources that I use in my business or have used in my business. In some cases, these are affiliate relationships with people that I highly trust and respect. And I know these tools and resources can help you and your business go to the next level. And as an ethical bribe, if you decide to uh, try out one of these resources using my link, I will go ahead and send you an unadvertised bonus. I'll send you something of high value. All you got to do is shoot me an email, alex at flipempire.com. Go ahead and let me know that you uh, that, that you tried out this resource and uh, however I can help you getting started with that. Chances are that I know it very, very well and currently use it or have used it. So make sure to check that out, flipempire.com forward slash resources. And if I can be of help or service to you in any way, just shoot me an email, alex at flipempire.com and I will do anything I can for you. Have an amazing day and I'll catch you on the next show.